Time to play with some clay. Okay, I printed out the bottom of the dress from a photograph I took of the dress and uh, this is what I've come up with and I also uh, scaled it to the little drawing I did yesterday and uh, so now I'm just going to line this up with the bottom of the dress and that will give me the proper height all the way across This way I can get the uh, triangles drawn properly. That way I can get them all the way around the curve without uh, distorting it. Now the triangles get less as you go down towards the outer edge of the dress. So I'm going to adjust it so I can get that, but I'm going to keep the triangles the same going all the way across. There. This is a serrated edged tool. Let's see if I can show you. And I'm putting a different texture into the uh, bottom part of the dress so there's a separation between that part of the dress and this part of the dress. What I'm doing is I'm Marking where the uh, beads, a, a, a uh, line of beads are going to go on this uh, dress. One here, one there. And uh, <sighs> that's what I'm doing. I'm going to make the uh, lines of beads out of uh, monster clay because, again, it keeps its shape. I All right, I put uh, monster clay on and uh, to make it look like beadwork. And I'm using the serrated edge of this tool to uh, give it... Kind of like a uh, indication of beads. I don't want to overdo it. All right, what I'm doing is I'm putting strings of leather coming off the belt. And this is before I put the uh, beads on because once I put the beads on, it's be hard to do this. And I 
have to press it into the clay because if I don't, it'll hang out there by itself and it'll be hard to cast. That looks pretty good. And I'll make the beads. has two beads, two large beads, that are sewn onto here. And uh, the uh, leather is strung through it. Okay, I'm going to come back after I get all this done. Because uh, it's hard to video it and uh, do it at the same time. Be right back. Okay, I'm putting the final couple of beads. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Because I'm trying to get the beads to be the same size is not an easy thing to do. Now there's more fringe that goes across the top and I'm going to wait till next time to do that. Alright, this is the uh, last thing I'm going to do today. I better get my glasses on. Oh, I got them on. All right, as you can see, I've got the uh, bottom fringe done. The bottom part of the dress is done detail wise. I've got the uh, pattern on the back of the uh, dress, which is hidden mostly by the blanket. And uh, I will be putting the same features I've got here, except it won't have the uh, row of beads. It'll just be a couple of big beads and then the fringe hanging down and it will hang down past the belt so that means it will be hanging free out here and that's going to cost money but uh, I can't avoid it it's a part of the design of the dress and uh, that's the way it goes all right see you guys tomorrow good night please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.